Hello everyone, Megan Cox here today and we will be exploring Google Slides. Google Slides is a web app that can be used to create collaborative slide decks. To get started with Google Slides, quickly access your Google Drive, click on the New button, and scroll down until you find Google Slides. From here, you can choose to create a blank presentation or you can open up a gallery of templates. Another quick way to get the, to that gallery of templates is going to the link slides.google.com. Once you are in the program, you will see to the right a bunch of preset themes to choose from. You can simply click on the theme that you like to choose it, and much like other slide programs, you can just quickly double click to add text and media into the format. Once you're done with this, you can get rid of it by this little X so you have a little bit of more room to navigate. From here, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about your toolbar. It's pretty similar to most programs. This dropdown allows you to add new slides and you can see you have a bunch of different layouts to choose from. You can also print, undo and go back, basic formatting features, add additional text boxes, images, shapes, and lines. Like other Google programs, you can add comments to specific sections of a slide. Here you can change the background if you want to change one slide to be separate from the theme or you can actually apply it to all. If you chose this layout but after adding information to it you decide you wanted something different, you can alter that here. And if you decide later on you don't like this theme anymore, this is how you can get back to that window and change it to something that you might like a little better. The last little guy up here is your transitions. When you click on this, it's going to allow you to transition the entire slide first. So if you, it currently has no transition, but if you want to transition the slide, you have some options from your drop down and you can apply it to all. If you simply wanted to animate a picture or a text box, you can actually select that and then click this plus sign. And you'll see options from your different um, types of transitions how you want it to perform, the speed, and then once you get it the way you like it, you can simply click on that and um, preview what it will look like. Once you're done with your transitions, again, you can get rid of that little X. You can always get back to it here. Additionally, up here you have some of your basic other features, such as under File, you can make copies, you can trash, you can actually download this as a PowerPoint or other um, formats such as PDF. A cool feature of Google Slides is the ability to publish it to the web as well. Um, under the insert, you see some of the same functions on your toolbar. And again, some of the same abilities such as creating a new slide, changing the layout. One cool feature is the ability to edit masters. So if you like the way this theme looks, but maybe not the color choice, you can actually go into the masters and change it for the whole theme. Um, again, under Format, if I were to select some text, you have some basic features such as bold, italics. You also see that when I select all of those, they come up on my toolbar across the top. Um, lastly, you have some tools such as spelling, defining. You see the option for speaker notes and the ability to voice type, which is really nice. You can also just manually type your speaker notes down here so that when you present it, you can see your notes to help you remember what to say. And that option comes under the present tab. So if you drop this little drop down arrow, you can simply just present it as is. Or in presenter view, you can view it with your speaker notes. You also have the ability of a pointer and some other features like a Q&A where you can actually poll the people you are presenting to. Um, lastly, I just want to remind you that just like any other Google form, this is a collaborative document. So you can simply click on the share button. Currently it's set to private to only me, but of course I have the ability to make it viewable or um, even make it where others can edit and collaborate with me. Thank you for watching this tutorial on Google Slides. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.